Welcome back to the channel guys, tool reviews of tools I use. Today I'm going to take you through my tiling toolkit. This tool, all these tools are stored within this Washboy bucket, which I've only had for a little while. And, uh, and I'd seen lots of people using them and I thought it was quite unnecessary until I actually used one myself. And I'm an absolute convert, I think they're brilliant. I can appreciate if you do a lot of tiling, this is a real necessity, but for me I'd say it's a, it's a bit of a luxury, but it's one I'm glad I've got. I'm glad I invested in it. So I keep all my tools inside it. I keep all my tiling tools in here because it just gives them a, a, a place where I know where they all are. I don't have to go looking for this trowel in this box and, and, and these various tools. I just know that everything is exactly where I need it bar a few little bit of little extras which I'll show you at the end uh, but I keep all my trowels in here I keep my sponges in here and, and all that stuff it works really well a lot of the time at the end of a tiling job you you've you end up putting things away that are a little bit damp and the good thing about this is because it's a bucket and because it's got a grill at the bottom it just drips any drips or anything like that just go into the bottom they don't end up rusting the tools or damaging anything it's a, it's a great setup but anyway, I'll go through the tools that I carry. So I carry a little four by four millimeter notch trowel. This one's made by Holtman. Absolutely love these trowels. Made in Germany, really nice handles on them, really good grip, very, very comfortable. Almost feel like a quality Marshalltown trowel. Uh, but yeah, really, really rate these. So I've got that in the four by four millimeter, which I use for walls and I use this one, which is a 10 millimeter, I use on floors. I find it works ideal. There's lots of sizes in between, but for my needs, that's that's plenty. Keep a couple of grout floats. The one on the right is a Marshalltown. It's a little bit softer than the other one, so depending on, on how the grout is playing, I, I use one or the other, but I find it's good to have those in there. I've got a Washboy sponge. This one came with uh, the Ruby Clean, and uh, yeah, it just rolls on the rollers there, and uh, yeah, absolutely perfect for grout jobs. It just makes you fly through it through the job. I keep some sponges. Always going to need a bunch of sponges when you're tiling. Keep these spatulas just for moving adhesive around, moving grout around. Uh, place to have two you can use one as a hawk and and so on but uh, these are these are really good and I keep a little pot there just for mixing bits and pieces in so I can mix grout in it mix a bit of adhesive whatever I need uh, this is a a profile gauge so if you imagine you can press it in and it just gives you the shape of whatever awkward ob obstacle you're working around. I find myself—I don't use this quite as much as I thought I would, but it's nice to know I've got it. I tend to find myself cutting bits of cardboard out more than using one of these. But these are useful, useful for uh, for odd shapes and things. I've got a little uh, rubber mallet. This one's white, so it's all non-marking. Had this for years. It's made by Thor. Uh, just for if, if I need to tap down a tile or anything like that, if I just need to move something along a little bit without damaging it, this is perfect just to give it a little nudge. And this box here, this was yeah, this was a nice little modification. So I just got, I found the perfect size box just by fluke really, and it just sits on the the edge of it really nicely. At one point, I even tried to have two in there. And, and it fit, but it didn't allow me to carry things quite as well as I hoped. So this this works really nicely. It stays out of the way. And it means that as soon as I get to a job, I can just take this out. And I've got all of my little hand tools and things all stored in there. It's a setup that seems to work really well. And I can just leave that on the bench. And I've got all my stuff that I can work around. And, uh, and if I have to, I can just pour everything out, give it a clean. Because it does get dusty and it does get covered in junk. Uh, just got a bunch of tile spacers, these are just left over from jobs, uh, small ones, big ones. And again, I've got a little pot here which I just keep random items in. It's, yeah, you've got some tile backer, 
uh, they just uh, hold the tile backing board on and you just uh, drill through the holes and you've got little screw cap covers which you tend to use on these sorts of jobs I've got a tile saw and I keep a tile file keep some nippers or nibblers so you can break bits of tile away and uh, I found that the spring kept popping out on this and uh, and I see a lot of these design like this in the shops terrible design it would you, you lose the spring and they just become a real pain to use so I just stuck a little bit of Gorilla Glue on each end of it and now it's never a problem works exactly as it's supposed to every time this was quite a smart little little tool you can make this form any shape you want uh, if you're going around awkward objects and things and you've got to cut a tile to shape around it then this is uh, quite a nice little tool for that and it's also got a little bit you can bolt on you can screw it onto the end and that will locate uh, pipe holes and things like that in tiles but yeah it's just an, uh, again it's a nice little thing to have it just in case because you do get some awkward cuts you have to do uh, keep a little set of pliers in here just for uh, pulling out uh, pulling out the little spaces sometimes they can get stuck so it just helps to have a little, little set of nipping pliers that you can just yank it out with and I keep some some of these carbide sheets like tile files which you can just rub the tile on and just shape them a little bit take edges off them and things it's quite good to have in there uh, keep a little spare set of wheels, little cutting wheels, and I've got a little spare blade there. I've got some scoring tools. Just some little scoring tools there for it. And I keep this. I think this was sold actually for, for rubbing on and using on grout lines and things. I don't tend to use this. I tend to use a little bit of old pipe. It just depends what what size spaces I'm using and the tiles that I'm using but I've got a few little options so I can use pipe if I need to I can use that I can use a little ball end on that yeah just got a few little different options and things got quite a few marking tools in here pencils and things I've usually got some china graph pencils as well but what I'm using a lot at the moment is uh, this holds force pencil absolutely brilliant tool and I find that the, the really soft lead that it's got can mark tiles and even when they're they're wet and they're being cut it's, it goes really faint but you can still see the line just enough to to cut what you need so I'm finding myself using this an awful lot uh, I'm doing a review on this soon along with a whole bunch of other mechanical pencils so uh, check that out that'll be dropping maybe in the next week or so and uh, that, that should be a good one but yeah, pencils, marking tools. Got a grout rate. I've got a little glass cutter, tile cutter. I've got a little tiny level. I'm doing little alcoves and things and showers and so on. Then this is great just for putting in there and getting things straight. It's only a cheap one, but it just gives you enough. If I want to put a slope on something, then it fits in there nicely as well. But yeah, it's great. I always try and keep these little spatulas and things when they come with uh, grouts and adhesives and stuff. They're, they're just sometimes you've only got a little bit of space to work, and something like this can just get in where where a bigger tool can't. And I can even cut it down if I need to uh, to make it fit. So yeah, handy to have in there. Takes up no, no space. Uh, the the other tools that I sometimes drop in there are things like I've got a bunch of hole saw bits. Uh, there's like diamond cutting blades for, for cutting holes in tiles. And uh, this is just a cheap set, but they work really, really well for the price I paid for them off of eBay. You can save an absolute fortune. I've got just about every size that I could ever want in there. And I've got these ones, uh, which are by Saxton Blades. 
And I've, I found out about these guys a long time ago when I started buying their multi-tool uh, blades. They're really, really good, really well made. And then these tile uh, blades, these carbide bits, are absolutely brilliant. I haven't broken a single tile yet with these. Uh, very, very good. Uh, I keep those externally usually, but I can chuck them in if I need to. Worth a mention, just in case you're trying to kit out a toolbox. But yeah, the wash boy here that you see, if you've never used one before, you've got your grout on the wall all in the tiles and everything and you want to wash the grout off. The old way of just getting a sponge and sticking it in a bucket and squeezing it out every time. It's a lot easier just to get one of these and it pays for, it pays for itself in a few jobs where you just stick that in the water to uh, to wash the grout off your, flip, off your sponge and you just roll it down there. With this particular one, you've got to give it a lot of rolls to really try and get it dry because uh, yeah, if you don't, then you end up with a whole mess on your wall. But once this goes a little bit dry and it just cleans so quickly, you get all that grout off your wall and uh, it looks amazing. It was only cheap, didn't set me back much at all. And like I say, it pays for itself in no time. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, hope if, if you're kitting anything out, you've got any questions about tile tools or any other tools, please check out my other videos. Uh, drop a comment below as well. I, I always enjoy chatting to you guys. And uh, I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe and uh, all the best.